Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to rewrite your PLR ebook in only a few minutes, not hours or days. Okay, but before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to better help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button? as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Hey guys, in this section, we're in the premium section of Quillbot. Now, what I discovered the other day was I made a mistake in my last video about Quillbot and that was that I thought it was only 400 words. But in actuality, it's 700 words. Now, it's 700 words if you sign up for free. 400 words if you're just using it on the fly without signing up to it. But if you're wanting to sign up to it, it's 700 words for free. But if you decide to purchase it, which is $79 a year, you can actually get it. And the good part about that is the fact that you get to do up to 10,000 characters, which is fantastic. The other one was 700 characters. This is 10,000 characters. So I'm going to be coming from Quillbot in the premium section. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. So because it has 10,000 characters, I'm going to, in front of you, change an entire ebook in only a few minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have an ebook right here. You know, trusty YouTube in five easy steps. And first thing we're going to be doing is I want to show you something here about this. You'll notice that over here on the right hand side, I have Quillbot embedded into my Word document. And it was really easy to do. All we had to do is once I signed up, what I had to do is go here to insert, go over here to add ins, go here to get add ins. And then all I needed to do was type in here Quillbot. Go there. And then all I needed to do was add it. And then when it did that, it would come up to the side here. We'll go over here, click on this. Now what it does, it would come up on this box here. And all you have to do is put your sign in details and you're ready to get started. So this is from the premium section. So Another thing you can do, you can get that over here in the Microsoft Office Word, your Google Chrome, which is an extension, and your Google Docs, which is also an extension for Google Docs, which is really good. But today, we're just going to be using the main website, just to make it easier and quicker. Now, what I've done is I have decided that I'm going to, instead of having this, at full size. What I've decided to do is by holding down my control button and using my mouse roller, I've just scrolled back to bring it down to about that many pages. It just makes it easier to get this process done. So the first thing we're going to be doing is I'm just going to highlight over the top of this and we're just going to go control C. Now, one of the things I discovered when doing this is I went down to the minimum synonyms because that is the most accurate. We can go there, we go control V and it gives us 1200 and sorry, yeah, 1277 characters, plenty of room because I'm up allowed up to 10,000 characters at a time. All we have to do hit here is hit paraphrase and within a few seconds it will create a new section here as you can see it's counting down to 16 paragraphs and there we have it in fact if you read this all the way through I'm confident enough that I could literally just grab all of this and put it straight in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear up some of this space and then we will go ahead and put it straight into the article and this way it will be better. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, I'm finished. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it now, just by hitting this one here, copy full text, go back to my Word document, and where I've got that, all I have to do is go Control V and paste it in there. I might need to take up away, get rid of some of that spacing that's already there, and then it'll be ready to go. Let's push this one down to the next line. Done. Now, another thing we can do is I'm going to grab all of this text. This entire chapter will fit into this. So I'm going to grab hold of all of this. Scroll down. Then go down to here. Go down to here. And grab all of that text. Go Control C. Go over here. Up here to bin, yes, then go control V, it pastes it in there. We're going to paraphrase it, and in just a minute, it will then it will create all of the paragraphs that are needed just the way we want it. And as you can see, it's got 29 or 30 watt 2. Okay, so it's doing the countdown to the paraphrase. So it's almost finished and there it is okay now as i said i'm so confident about this all i'm going to do is click on that copy the text go back to my ebook go control v and it's re-established everything put it all back in there for me i might have to do a little bit of formatting there's you know like make those bold and things like that all the headings and so forth but yeah, as you can see, it is essentially rewritten. So let's continue. Grab this one down here, going down, and until we have grabbed everything we need. So we go down to here, and go Control C. Doing the same thing. Being this information here, yes. Pasting that in there, go Control V redo the same thing now I'm just showing you how fast it is to do an entire ebook as you can see this hasn't taken long at all so it's still thinking it's almost at the 35 paragraphs okay done we're now going to copy that this is how confident I am with this readability that I am pasting it straight in there without even checking it that's how good this is and you might be going, isn't that a bit risky? Well, maybe a little bit. But I think also, too, I'm so confident with this that I am recognizing that it is going to be good enough as is. So I'm just going to separate some of these paid, some of these paragraphs because they're a little bit too close together. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all this, scroll down to the next paragraph, there we go, control C, same thing, going to grab Coolbot, oops wrong one, there it is, dump that, paste this, and as you can see it has taken virtually no time at all. So. I'm now going to fast forward my video so as you don't have to sit there and watch me do this for all the chapters but I'm going to fast forward through this and look at the time here it's 12.39 p.m. right now so I'm just going to copy this once you'll see how fast this actually is once I finish and we'll have a look at the time once I've finished so there may be a little bit of silence there may be a bit of talking I'm not sure We'll soon find out. So let's copy that and let's keep, let's fast forward now.
Okay, we're back. It's now 12.45. Now, in the time it took to do this, it was only about five minutes. And that was just to complete off the process. And as you can see when I was doing this, I don't know if um, it came through on the fast forward. I just highlighted over the top of the bigger gaps, removing some of the space to make it a bit more to make it a bit nicer so just to remove some of those gaps was all I did now a little bit of formatting outside that I am so confident that this is readable that I would even hesitate to say that this is probably ready to go so I would need to probably check it with copyscape but once I did that, I'd be okay. I just want to show you one, a couple of little things with Coolbot that you may not be aware of. So before I do that, let's get rid of that space there. Okay, then I'm just going to go back over to Coolbot. I just want to show you something over here on the right hand side. As you can see, the stuff in orange is what they've actually changed. Now I have this on the lowest setting, which means that one is in fact the setting that has the least amount of changes but it still does sort of changing it paraphrases it rewrites it so as it is more human like i'm so confident with this that i really i don't even think i'll need to change too much of it at all so what i'm doing is i'm going to just have a look at this Starting a successful YouTube channel isn't rocket science, but it does take time, dedication, and focus. You're likely to be producing more content in the earlier months than later. On to quickly build your your backend inventory and grow your following. Okay, so what you can do in this particular case is you've got this area here that just needs to be maybe a little bit of attention given to it if you wish to make it more unique. And to do that, it's a very, very simple matter. So all the stuff that's in blue probably needs a bit of attention it won't pass copyscape but if you want to keep in mind you can go like that bear in mind the amount of time spent number of hours spent when it comes to your viewers retention viewers viewer audience viewing audience retention okay Make sure content. See, so basically, you can just go through, have a quick look at what's here, change around some of the blue con, some of the blue ones, and once you've done that, it's ready to go. So, as you see, as you saw, that really didn't take too long at all to do, and it was essentially done in hardly any time at all. Okay, formatting needs to be done. Agreed. But outside that, it doesn't take long to do. And thankfully, this is a very quick process. And it, you can have this done, an entire ebook, within about an hour. And if you were to upload this onto somewhere like Amazon, you most likely get past as long as you have around 70% of your book changed you'll be okay and if you have less than 70% then it might get flagged so my suggestion would be to start off with take it up to this mark here so as it has more change because you watch what happens here if I was to rephrase this, you'll see a lot more of those blue marks will probably disappear once it's established and doing its thing. Here it comes. And as you'll see, there'll be a lot less blue marks and there will be a lot less to have to change. So let's wait for a second, wait for it to do its thing. Okay, it looks like it's finished. All right, so. In this particular case, you just go through, have a look at that. There's one blue mark there, one there, nothing on this one. 
a little bit of blue here you need to probably deal with just to make it a bit more unique within a couple of minutes you'll actually have that completely done and it, it doesn't matter if you have a little bit of blue because sometimes there are just common phrases that will be in everything and there'll be hardly any chance of ever having ever getting rid of that but you know you'll you'll find that there's a lot less blue here and but it's still very readable Certainly a great YouTube channel isn't rocket science, but it does need some effort, commitment and focus. You'll probably be producing more material in the early months. So in the early months, let's have a look here. Early weeks, initial part. There we go. Building up your back end inventory. So I would say back end core yeah core inventory inventory there we go it changed it it doesn't as you can see it takes hardly any time what you're doing is changing a word here and there and you have essentially changed the entire thing now that would pass copyscape and once you've done that that's enough to pass it and you'd be okay so it doesn't take much to do that then all we have to do is just copy that place that straight into your ebook and your ebook is done so that is how you can literally change your ebook in only a few minutes rather than days hours or days okay guys if you like this video please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing hit the bell icon so you are notified whenever we upload more videos or if you could leave a comment down below as to what you think of this i've also left a link down below that you can choose to go on to as i said it's 79 dollars a year and it'll allow you to get the premium which will then allow you to speed up the process no end okay guys thanks for watching and bye for now